Hi and welcome to Elodie. We're here on a really cold frosty morning at the end of November and I'm here to show you a bit of natural fishing during the winter period. Now the go-to method at this time is usually lures, usually fished on an intermediate line and pulled back at some speed. But you can have just as much fun on the natural stuff. So let's get out there and see if we can catch a fish or two. So today we're going to meet up with our friend Paul. Now he struggles with confidence a bit but he comes up with some great patterns and I really enjoy fishing with him. So we're going to try and instill some more confidence in him and get him catching on his flies. So what I've done is I've designed a pack designed around flies he's created and flies he really uses. At the top here we've got the Outlaws buzzer and it's a great pattern. It's one I've kept secret for a long time but uh, I've fished with Paul a few times now and I know we do well on the buzzers so we've gone for the outlaw buzzer and that should catch a few fish. Then coming down the pack we've got a cruncher, another great pattern that catches a lot of fish especially when they're feeding on the naturals. And then we move on to the comments which is Paul's bread and butter. He's really good with these flies, he really enjoys fishing them and we start with the Laws Fugitive and then we've got the Laws Bandits. Now they're tied on size 12 and they're going to be perfect for your middle droppers. Then for your point fly we've got two size 10 flies at the bottom of the pack. We've got the Laws Daddy for when the fish are feeding high in the surfaces and we've also then we've got the Laws egg laying comment for if the fish go down a bit deeper. It's a great pack and it's going to be available from our website for £12.49. Let's go and share with Paul and see how he reacts. Hi Paul, how's it going? How are you doing? Good. Good right now? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I've tied you a pack. Let me know what you think about it. Oh, it's safe for uh, Yeah, a little pack. Oh, they're proper deadly. Yeah, well, that's a great name as well. So what I was thinking, I know you're really deadly with this kind of setup. Maybe you could go through what sort of tactics you use on a still water fishery and we can give the viewers some uh, tips and tricks to help them catch more fish. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, so I've just received these flies from Gareth. Much appreciated gift. Um, quality flies as usual. Um, called the Outlaws. Uh, looking at this pack, a setup that I'd probably use is the Outlaw buzzer on the top. Just looks a dead little pattern. A little Laws bandit in between and on the point an uh, egg laying cormorant. Um, typical 12 foot leader, space 4 foot between flies, going to be deadly. So as you can see we joined Paul here on one of the hot spots on Cranimore and it's not long before he's into a fish. Now this one's followed his flies in in a slow retrieve and as he's lifting up to cast again they've taken it on the hand. Now the hand can be a deadly technique and it can catch you a lot of fish and that's something we're going to cover in a later video. Now it was great to see Paul land in the first fish, I hadn't even set up my rod by this point. And this one took the Laws Bandit, a deadly little dropper fly, and off he goes to fight another day. Okay, so listening to Paul's advice, I think it's great advice. So I've gone for the Outlaw Buzzer as my top dropper as well. I've also gone for that Bandit Common as my middle dropper, because I think they're both deadly flies and can work as good naturals for the fish in the lake. I've changed my point fly though, because I think the fish are higher up and they're feeding a bit higher up in the surface. I've gone for that Laws Daddy, which is a great common fry with legs that give it plenty of movement and it often catches some very nice fish. Okay, so we're giving Lake Moor a good go here, but I think a really important thing when fishing naturals is to have a slight breeze or a little ripple that's going to help move your flies in a very natural way. I often find with this sort of ripple, you'll catch more fish and the fish are more inclined to take your fly. So let's go over to Meadow where there's less shelter from, uh, we've got protection from the trees here. So we'll head up there, see if we can get into the ripple, and I'm sure as soon as we get up there, we'll start hitting more fish. I've left my net with Lloyd, so unfortunately Paul's going to have to come and net this for me. The letting it drift around in the wind naturally is definitely a paid dividend. It's a fish almost straight away. So. I don't know what it's on, Paul. I've got, uh, sorry, I've got three flies on. We'll have a look now. I think he might be taking a buzzer. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He looks 
smaller than the sight of it. It's a nice bend. It's not ready yet. It's a really good type. It's a good spot on the floor. Let's do it to the well. There we go. Okay, so we decided to switch locations so we can get a bit of wind uh, coming with us to help move the flies more naturally. And we've installed a forecast, we've caught a fish, so it's definitely a good thing to do. Listening to Paul with his advice to use that buzzer has paid off as well. Let's get back out there and see if we can catch a couple more. So all we're doing is we're casting out there with the wind blowing across from, from the right to the left. What's that doing is that's moving the insects in a natural way. Uh, so, so they're going to be convinced that they're feeding on the natural stuff. There's a lot of fish out there that are feeding on naturals and um, a slow figure eight just to keep in touch with the line, speeding it up every now and again. Just, just keep in contact with your fly so you're ready to lift into the fish when he takes. Well the last one took all three of my flies with him. Oh, I might have two on actually, I don't know. Yeah, I got two on, I think, Steve. Yeah, I think I got two. Oh, don't tell me they stuck themselves in the weed. Yeah, both of them have swam straight in the weed. One came off. One still on. Who's got the one fish now? <laughs> back on, I thought the fight was over, I thought I lost them. They both went head first into the weed. <laughs> this one's taken the laws, Daddy. The other one was on the buzzer again, but unfortunately they both swam into the weed. One of them's got off, but we've landed one, so... Got to be free fish. But uh, you can see the laws, Daddy, there. Just uh, lightly looked in the lip. Quick show to the camera and then we'll get him back. So it's a lovely fish. So after the double hookup, we gave it another sort of 10-15 minutes, but we noticed as more and more anglers came onto Meadow that the fish were getting spooked, they were getting pushed further and further out. So what we thought we'd do is we'd have a little look around the ponds and we came back to Cranimore and found a lovely ripple. And not only that, within a few minutes I found that Paul was hooked up again.
another lovely fish, and this one took the laws, Daddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here we go, matey. Yeah. And noticing that there was a ripple on Cranimore, I also looked over to Lake Moor, and you can see here that we've got the perfect ripple for fishing natural buzzers and uh, natural flies in the winter. And you can see it didn't take me long before I hooked into a fish. So I knew as soon as that ripple came up, we'd hit fish. Literally first cast down. Now you saw me mentioning about the ripple earlier and we finally got a ripple on Lake Moor and that was the very first cast and it took the Lord's Daddy. Now unfortunately it came off but that's the way it goes sometimes in fishing. So now we've got a nice ripple up here, we should start hitting fish. Let's get back out there and see if we can have another. You've just seen me miss one and also I had that fish but I didn't turn the camera on. But what they're doing is they're taking the sort of surprise in the water. So let's go in the shade a bit so the wind's not so loud and I'll teach you a quick tip that'll get you in direct contact to your flies. Okay. So say you've cast out, you've got a bit of slack between you and your fly. Simple technique, just pull your line back while pushing your rod forwards and that gets you instantly in control of your flies. And then you can carry on figure eight in just so you don't miss a take. Because often when you cast out, they'll take it just as it hits or as it's dropping down. So any slack between you and them flies, you're not going to register the take. So it's simple, your flies have hit. You can see the line's got lots of slack in it. Pull back, push your rod forwards and you're instantly controlling your flies and you're more likely to catch some fish. I want to grab the top bit, it's open. What did he say, even if it's not dark, he's closing it half off. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's fish up and around me. I think I need to go the other side. So we can come over here. Yeah, here we go. And you can see that ripple that's definitely helped. Ever since it's come on, they're feeding and they're more confident feeding as well. Again, I think that's the Lord's Daddy. It's been a great fly for today. And this looks like a bit of a nicer fish. We'll try and get him netted pretty quick. Oh, 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 don't want to lose him. It looks a bit nicer, this one. That's a lovely fish, that is. You come and have a look at him. Much nicer fish altogether, fully finned. Law's daddy, just in the corner of his mouth, but get that out. And we won't play around with him too much. We'll just get him back nice and quick. And away he swims. Okay, so as you can see by that, you don't have to be fishing lures in the winter time. A natural approach can often bring you some very nice fish. Since the ripples picked off, you can see we're picking more fish up and that's key to fishing naturals in the winter. You want a ripple, you want the fly to be moving natural and just keep in touch with them flies. And often the takes can be savage, so make sure you're prepared for that. Well, it's been a great day here at Edeldine. Let's go and have a quick catch up with Paul before we say goodbye. Okay, so with the easterly wind, that was a very tough day, but the natural approach was definitely the way to go. What did you find was working for you, Paul? Um, Lord's Daddy again. It's just always always working every time, and other angles catching it as well, so just a proven pattern that is. Yeah, I had two on that as well, so I definitely agree with that. That little buzzer looks like a good pattern as well. Yeah, definitely. So uh, uh, you've got a little giveaway for the viewers, so do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, if you want a chance of getting a, a pack of these uh, outlaw, outlaw flies from UK Fly this year, um, simply comment on Instagram which is your favourite in the pack and then you could be in chance to win some flies. 
Well, I've really enjoyed today and it was nice catching up with you again. We'll have to do it again soon, so. Yeah, cheers. Thanks bro. for that, Paul. And um, we'll see you in the next video. See you. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. No worries. No, 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 no